SQL Server 2012 is available in several editions. The Enterprise Edition remains the top shelf edition, containing every possible feature, but also the highest price tag. By researching the features of different editions, you might be able to find all the functionality you need in a lower priced version. The Microsoft website is certainly the best source of information for details on what features are included in what version. The amount of information presented here can be a bit overwhelming. I'd like to walk you through some of it and point out some of the most popular features and what versions they're available in. Also should make a note that I'm giving you information that is up to date as time of this recording, but Microsoft does tend to change these things from time to time. In particular, whenever they release a service pack for SQL Server, they often make minor changes to what features are available. With SQL Server 2012, Microsoft is primarily marketing three editions, Enterprise, Business Intelligence, and Standard. Enterprise and Standard have been around for a while, but Business Intelligence is new in 2012. We can scroll down here and see some of the capabilities, some of the features that are included. And as we scroll down, we'll see a bullet point in every single box for Enterprise, because like I said, it contains every single feature. And we see slightly less features in Business Intelligence and Standard. Notice the features of basic business intelligence, reporting, analytics, data mining, and basic data integration are included in all three editions. Because they have one version named Business Intelligence, you might think that Business Intelligence features aren't included in the other versions. That's not exactly correct. The basic business intelligence, the basic reporting, the basic analytics server is included in all three versions. What business intelligence gives you is a few advanced features that are not included in standard, such as Power View and Power Pivot. Power Pivot, a very popular feature, particularly among SharePoint developers. So that may be something that would push you to buy the business intelligence server. Also notice there's nothing in the business intelligence server that isn't in the enterprise. So if you have access to enterprise, there's no reason to downgrade to the business intelligence version. Looking at some more detailed information, in particular information about the hardware, we'll notice that the enterprise version always uses the maximum CPU and maximum RAM supported by the operating system. And on the other end of the spectrum, standard has some limitations on the number of CPUs we can use and the amount of RAM we can use. Currently that's set to 16 cores and 64 gigabytes. Now you might be thinking, hey, right now that's a pretty beefy machine. 16 core, 16 gigabyte of RAM is a pretty beefy machine by today's standards. But remember, you may be putting SQL Server in production for 5, 10, 15 years. Is that still going to be a beefy machine 15 years from now? I can't say for sure how much RAM will be common 15 years from now. I'm betting it's a lot higher than 64 gigabyte. So those limitations are more of a problem in the future than they are right now. Notice business intelligence has some limitations when you're running the database engine, but it ramps up to operating system maximum on the analysis services and reporting services piece. The line on maximum relational database size is also interesting. 524 petabytes. That is very, very large. A petabyte is 1,000 terabytes. A terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes. So a petabyte is basically a million gigabytes. I have yet to see a database that is even one petabyte. So 524 petabytes would seem to be an overwhelming amount of information. Again, it's hard to say that 10 or 15 years from now, whether or not that'll still be a reasonable limitation. But also you notice Enterprise, BI, and Standard all have the exact same limitation, so it's not something to consider one way or the other when purchasing. We also have a line here for the licensing model. Notice that the Enterprise Edition is only per processor or per core. The Business Intelligence Edition is only available with the licensing model of Server plus Client Access License. But Standard Edition is available with either licensing model. So when choosing edition, you also have to consider the different licensing models, and we'll get into those in detail over the next few movies. A membership to lynda.com unlocks this entire course and hundreds of others. 
Visit lynda.com to learn more 